Marco Polo, born in 1254 in Venice, Italy, was one of the greatest explorers of his time. Embarking on a journey that would span 24 years and take him across Europe and Asia to the court of Kublai Khan, the Mongol ruler of China. At the age of 17, Marco set off with his father and uncle on an epic journey, traversing the Silk Road, a network of trade routes that connected the East and West, and experiencing diverse cultures and landscapes along the way. Marco Polo's travels took him through the Middle East, Persia, and the vast steppes of Central Asia where he encountered nomadic tribes and learned about their unique customs and way of life. Upon reaching the court of Kublai Khan in 1275, Marco Polo quickly gained the favor of the great Khan, who was impressed by the young Venetian's intelligence, curiosity, and ability to communicate in multiple languages. Marco Polo served as an emissary and advisor to Kublai Khan for 17 years, undertaking diplomatic missions to various parts of the Mongol Empire and documenting the wealth and sophistication of the Chinese civilization. His detailed accounts of the grandeur of Kublai Khan's court, the splendor of Chinese cities like Hangzhou and Beijing, and the advanced technologies he observed captivated the imagination of people back in Europe. Marco Polo's descriptions of paper money, coal, and the use of gunpowder were particularly astonishing to his contemporaries, who had never encountered such innovations in their societies. After spending nearly two decades in the service of Kublai Khan, Marco Polo and his family decided to return to Venice, braving the arduous journey back through hostile territories and difficult terrain. Upon his return to Venice in 1295, Marco Polo found himself amid a war with Genoa, and he was eventually captured and imprisoned, where he recounted his adventures to a fellow prisoner, Rusticello de Pisa. The stories Marco Polo told were compiled into a book known as The Travels of Marco Polo, which became one of the most influential travelogues in history, inspiring explorers and adventurers for centuries to come. Many Europeans were skeptical of Marco Polo's tales, considering them too fantastical to be true, but his detailed observations and the accuracy of many of his descriptions have since been corroborated by historical evidence. Marco Polo's accounts provided Europeans with their first comprehensive look at the vast and diverse lands of Asia, sparking a newfound interest in exploration and trade with the East. The legacy of Marco Polo's travels extends beyond his written accounts. His journey helped to bridge the gap between East and West, fostering cultural exchange and mutual understanding between different civilizations. Marco Polo's adventures influenced future explorers such as Christopher Columbus, who carried a copy of Polo's book and sought to find the lands described by the Venetian merchant. Marco Polo's detailed descriptions of the wealth and sophistication of the Chinese empire challenged the Eurocentric views of his time, broadening the horizons of those who read his accounts. The adventures of Marco Polo, filled with exotic landscapes, rich cultures, and incredible discoveries, continue to captivate the imagination reminding us of the enduring human spirit of curiosity and exploration.